Hello everyone. My name is Dinesh Biyani and I am working as professor at SKB College of Pharmacy, Kamathi. Today we will discuss about the formulation development of common cold tablets. So let's begin. Common cold tablets. Uh, common cold actually it is also called as acute coriza and the clinical features of common cold are like uh, the onset is very rapid there is burning and tickling sensation in the nose there are sneezing the nose is generally blocked with watery discharge and the discharge usually is green yellow after one or two days and the complications uh, if it is not cured is like sinusitis then lower respiratory tract in infections hearing impairment may be there and otitis media is there the etiology generally doctors prescribe antibiotics but the reason of common cold the causative organism are renoviruses like coronavirus enterovirus adenovirus re respiratory syncytial virus and these viruses give rise to common cold bronchitis sore throat influenza like illness and treatment so like I said, doctors generally prescribe antibiotics, but they should not be prescribed because uh, the result of these seven randomized controlled trials can comparing antibiotic therapy with the placebo in acute upper RTI indicates that there is not enough evidence of important benefit to patients in such type of treatment. So generally treatment is symptomatic because there is no antibiotic. Antibiotics are used for bacterial infections. So either an antipyretic analgesic, a decongestant and H1 antagonist with anti-muscarinic activity should be prescribed. Uh, now we have to look on the drug interactions and adverse drug reactions for the drugs used in acute coriza. Generally pseudoephedrine interact with MAO inhibitors and tricyclic antidepressants. So the patients who are on tricyclic antidepressants they should not be given pseudoephedrine. Also the synthetomimetics, they generally also cause vasoconstriction. They are contraindicated in pregnancy and glaucoma and special precautions should be seen in the chronic rhinitis and in children sedation can occur. Next we can see like two three marketed preparations. These are like Sinarest AF, it is very widely used, then Trexidine, then Actifed Plus. Mostly all the tablets, marketed tablets, they contain pseudoephedrine, then chlorpheniramine maleate and sometimes with or without paracetamol. So this is the part of like etiology and the treatment of acute coriza. Now coming to tablets. In the design of the tablet, we have to actually compromise, we have to trade off between the pharmacology and pharmaceutics. For example, from the manufacturing point of view, from the industrialist point of view, we have to go for a higher shelf life. We have to look upon the shipment of the tablets. Also, we want the desired properties like friability should be low, the hardness should be good. But at the same time, if there is no friability or if there is much hardness, then efficacy of the tablet is questioned. Also, the disintegration time and dissolution time they may be affected so on both sides we have to trade off with the pharmacology and pharmaceutics so an industrialist can go for good manufacturability properties while a pharmacist or a clinical pharmacist we can say a doctor will go for better efficacy better dissolution time and disintegration time with the increased competition in the tablets like the competition between brand versus generic, generic versus generic, brand versus brand. The main aim of any product is that the correct amount of drug in right form should be delivered at or over proper time at the proper rate and in the desired location while having its chemical integrity protected to that point. And what is important nowadays is validation validation of both the product, the production, the raw material because variability in the specification will not suffice the standard or the effect. Now to go for the formulation development, 
what is required is the pre-formulation studies of the raw materials and API. So stability has to be checked for both the solid state and the solution form. The solid state stability has to be checked while taking into consideration like light, temperature and humidity. And the solubility in the solution form, the most important part is excipient drug interactions which can be studied by like DSC, DTA, XRD like that. On the other hand, the physicochemical properties or physico-mechanical properties, they are also to be studied. Like for example, particle size, the bulk and tap density, the crystalline form and the polymorphism because it affects the dissolution of the drug and ultimately its bioavailability. The compressibility, photomicrographs, the melting point and other organoleptic properties. In the physicochemical properties, the main important aspect is its solubility and the pH profile of the solution because there is a wide range of pH which varies from stomach to large intestine. Then one aspect is in vitro dissolution. The in vitro dissolution is studied for the pure drug, for the pure drug palate, the dialysis of pure, pure drug, absorbability and the effect of excipients and surfactant. Now the systematic approach to tablet product design consists of four or five important factors. The first factor is factors affecting the type of excipient, which type of excipient we want. So in that the first part is compactability and generally we have seen lesser the processes involved in a product formulation better will be the product. So the direct compression is the preferred method because it is the cheapest approach. Only two steps are there. We have to mix the API and the excipients and we have to compress them. Thus it avoids the most costly unit operating process drying. It is really fastest and direct. Only fewer formulation variables are involved in it and it leads to most bioavailable product. Then there are medical reasons like release, gastrointestinal stability, enteric coating. One factor is related to marketing, related to its appearance. Then economics is very important part like manufacturing process versus the raw material. Then excipients, the desirable properties are very important. What are their moisture content, particle size, polymorphic form. Then one of the factor is experimental approach to developing a prototype tablet formula like statistical design or quality by design involving these many steps. Then process quality is very important. These are some of the process quality regarding the tablet formulation, regarding its granulation. Then the characterization of granules. These are the properties which are very important for the granules. Then evaluation of tablet, it comprises of screening and feasibility, development, optimization and finally there is a scale up and a finalization phase, production phase. And tablet production comprises its design, equipment, facility, personnel. This is the overview of the process of tablet. So thank you very much.